Tonight on Tom's River Schools Today, we'll take a look at two dogs who were reunited after time apart. And as always, we have a look at some of the events from around the school district. Tom's River Schools Today starts in two minutes. Hello. Um, can I'm busy right now. Hello and welcome to Tom's River Schools today for Friday, April the 27th. I'm Angelina Gagliano. And I'm Kyle Austin. Later on tonight, we'll check out your weather. But up first, tonight we take a look at our elementary schools and our elementary schools happening segment. Starting off our elementary happenings, parents, please check your student's website for all important information. Let's now take a look at today's random fact of the day. Hi, I'm Taylor Fistone and this is your random fact of the day. 315 entries in Webster's Dictionary will be misspelled. Two dogs who were separated after being adopted together are back together again. The Virginia organization that originally adopted out the duo moved quickly after realizing the new owner had not kept the dogs together. As planned, Amy View reports. They're happy, they're here at the shelter, they're back to their normal selves. It's the happy reunion seen around the world. We've had calls from Canada, California, the UK. OJ, a blind 12-year-old dachshund, and Blue Dozer, a 6-year-old pit bull, are back together. They have been together uh, for just over three years as a bonded pair. We couldn't get video of the two dogs at Richmond Animal Care and Control when we stopped by Thursday. The shelter wanted to give them time to decompress. 
but when we visited the pair off camera, Dozer came up with his tail wagging to say hello, and OJ stayed right by his side. They're always next to each other. RACC Outreach Coordinator Robin Young says on Sunday, a woman adopted both dogs from the Richmond shelter after the pair had gone viral on social media. Meeting with this person, we, you know, did our hard work. And when she left, we thought we had a successful adoption. Just two days later, a volunteer alerted them to a Facebook post by Shenandoah Valley Animal Services. Physically, I was sick to my stomach. A blind dachshund had just been put up for adoption there. When we saw that, we went into recovery mode, and we've got to get these two dogs back together. The dog's microchip, which was traced back to the owner and RACC, confirmed it was OJ. And she sadly signed the dog over to them. Young says the adopter gave one reason for surrendering the blind dachshund. Um, she wanted to give up the dog because it was biting and nipping which, you know, sadly is to be expected with a blind older dog that's in a new home. It's time to take a trip around the world in our 60 second road trip. Can you guess where we are today? She's got a heart like Got a heart like that. It's now time for us to take a look at the Dictionary.com's word of the day. Today's word is querulous, meaning habitually complaining. And now for your sentence of the day. If there was an award for being querulous, my aunt would win because she's always complaining about something. Now we're going to take a short break. Coming up after the break, we take a look at our intermediate happenings, and we also take a look at your weather. So stick around. We'll be right back after this.
Moving to Intermediate East, police camp applications are available in the main office. The camp is for current 6th, 7th, and 8th grade graders at Tom's River Schools. This camp is from July 9th to the 13th from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Campers must supply their own gym clothes, sneakers, and lunch for the week. More information is on the application itself, or you can email Officer Slavin at pslavin at trpolice.org. The tip of the day. It is time for your environmental tip of the day. Each day we will bring a tip that will help save the environment. Let's take a look at today's tip. Hi, I'm Andrew Wolf, and here's my environmental news fact of the day. In the morning, brew your certified coffee. A USDA certified organic label means it was grown using sustainable standards. Every day on this show, we'll be bringing a tip of the day. So stay tuned tomorrow, and we give you another way to help save the environment. It is time now, it's now time for another break. Hmm. Coming up later in the show, we'll take a look at your high school happenings. Tons of schools today. We'll be right back. lose their babies to gun crimes. You'll always be your mother's baby. So before you commit a gun crime, think about who you'll leave behind. Gun crimes hit home. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. Starting off our high school happenings, at North, every Wednesday is Green Day. Remember to wear green to help get the word out about the need for recycling and energy conservation. The Tons River Schools offer many unique opportunities. One such opportunity is the Poseidon Academy. Our students visited to see how that program works. My name is Elena Miko from Tom's River Schools Today. Today we will be taking a closer look at the Poseidon Academy that studies marine science located in downtown Tom's River. The Poseidon Academy started in 2006 uh, due to the efforts of uh, the principal of the vocational school which was next to Tom's River High School North and he had the foresight to come up with marine science for Tom's River Schools um, and put in this program. We're basically looking at all different parts of science not just marine biology but we're doing marine chemistry, uh, marine geology and biology all together so commonly referred to as uh, marine biogeochemistry. In fall and the spring when the weather is good we focus our studies around the Barnegat Bay and the local estuary so we uh, have weekly field trips where we go out and we're learning how to do various oceanographic techniques and learning about the ecosystem, 
um, we do identification and, and collection of organisms. We use this place obviously as a normal classroom, uh, but also its location on the Toms River is key because we are able to do our training uh, outside. We have a dock, and on this dock we can do a lot of our water quality tests, uh, learning how to use various different um, oceanographic devices and things like that. Then when we have our field trip days, uh, the students already know what they're doing, so we're able to get our labs done in a timely fashion and uh, you know achieve our goals more quickly because of the practice that we've had here. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a closer look at the Poseidon Academy. Switching to the home of the Indians, the Cedar Chest yearbook is now on sale. The cost of the yearbook is $77.25. A yearbook may be purchased at this time only from Mr. DiMario in room F6. Seniors, if you've been accepted to a college or institution of higher learning, please bring a copy of your letter of acceptance to the guidance office. Seniors, don't forget to go to the guidance office and check out the scholarships that are available. Make sure you apply for several scholarships. At East, attention students and staff, the school store is now open to serve you. We are stocked with all of your Raider apparel needs, including Champion and un Under Armour brands. The school store is open every day after school from 1.40 to 2 p.m. We also have Yoohoo, Snapple, and water for a dollar, as well as many delicious snacks to get you energized for your after-school practices. Stop in soon. It's time to get Raiderized. At High School East, some students joined a special club to help animals. Let's take a look inside the Paws Club. I'm all for Tom's River Schools today. Today we take a look at the Paws Club here at High School East, a club dedicated to helping pets in Tom's River and working alongside a local no-kill animal shelter. Hi, I'm Carol Nigro. I am one of the advisors for the Paws Club. I just like helping the animals and, you know, dealing with, with you guys and the kids and trying to help them think of ways to help the animals. We've just started this past year, so we've done, um, we've sold some things called butter braids, they're pastries, that was our most successful. We also do just in-school donations, like put up posters to donate you know, treats and supplies. We just talk about different ways that we can do fundraising and raise awareness and to the shelters and try and get them some supplies that they need. Hello, my name is Nicolina Warnock and I'm a member of Paws Club and I volunteer at Save Rescue Shelter. To be in Paws Club, well, you get to help your animals. If you're a big animal lover, you get to always be with them and, and you get like community service hours, you get to like, learn how to be helpful and everything. Pets are worth saving is why I named it Paws. So P is for pets, A is for R, W is for worth, and S is for saving. If you're an animal lover, just come on and help us out. It's all good. It's just helping out, helping out animals. The Paws Club continues to go to great lengths to fundraise and help animals find their forever homes. For Tom's River Schools Today, I'm Carly Mall. Would you like to attend the prom in style this year? Did you know that the High School East has a closet filled with the most beautiful evening gowns and dresses? If you want to feel like Cinderella too, make an appointment today with Ms. Steinhardt in the Media Center to find that special prom dress just for you. High School East, did you know that there are a million of students that are absent each month because they feel unsafe at school? Make a difference in someone's life today by making a new friend, sitting with a new group at lunch, or joining a new club or sport. Need a little help with their college entrance essays? Having difficulty with that research paper or would just like another set of eyes to proofread your assignments? The Writing Center provides tutors to help with all types of writing assignments. The Writing Center is now open every Tuesday and Thursday after school in W20. Ask your English teacher for further details. Let's now take a look at what grinds our gears. Mike Lewis for Tom's River Schools today and today we'll be talking with Ms. Taruki and Ray Kleinschmidt about the Tom's River East Boys Acapella Group. Here's what they have to say. The River Boys is an all-male a cappella group and consists of students from grades 10 through 12. The River Boys have been going back in time a bit and doing songs like Good Night Sweetheart, Happy Together, Barbara Ann, and most recently we've started a song by Billy Joel called For the Longest Time. I think For the Longest Time is one of the most challenging songs just because it's very easy to get lost. There's a lot of repetitive natures, but there's also a lot of jumping back to different parts of the song. So it's really important that you know where you're going in the song. I feel like it's a very good example of barbershop music, and so it just sounds very nice. Well, 
we meet after school on Mondays, and we really try to sight read the music first, and then I pretty much play out their parts on the piano, and then ultimately we have to be able to sing it a cappella with no instrumental accompaniment. When you're an a cappella choir, there's no instruments or no backing track. It's a lot more important for the singer to have uh, good precision with the notes, good intonation, and it really helps you improve your own personal skills so when you're singing in a regular choir with an accompaniment or something else, you can sound a lot better as an individual and also helps you blend with the others too because it's, there's no instruments. I just admire this bunch of guys because it makes my Monday afternoons a whole lot of fun learning some new songs to sing. Wow, what great talent. From all of us at Tom's River School today, I'm Michael Ruiz. Obviously, that was our story about the River Boys, the new a cappella group here at High School East. Uh, we thank you, Mike Ruiz, for that report. Um, it is now time for us to take a short break. After the break, we take a look at your three-day forecast. Tom's River Schools today. We'll be right back. Crowded hallways are the loneliest places for outcasts and rebels or anyone who just dares to be different. And you've been trying for so long to find out where your place is. But in their narrow minds, there's no room for anyone who dares to do something different. Oh, but listen for a minute. Trust the one who's been where you are Wishing all it was was sticks and stones Those words cut deep but they don't mean you're all alone And you're not invisible Here. Sing a song for the broken hearted Starting off sports, let's stop by High School East and check out how the boys lacrosse team is doing. Hi, I'm Alexia Evgenio from Tom's River Schools today, and today we had the chance to sit down with the varsity boys lacrosse team and Coach Weber to see how their season is going to go. Uh, Coach Alfieri took over the program four years ago, and we were friendly, um, and he knew me from uh, coaching basketball, which I've been doing quite a while, and sort of recruited me to, to start with him uh, that year and been doing it ever since. I was in high school, they only had, um, they introduced girls lacrosse while I was in high school and hadn't started boys lacrosse in Tom's River quite yet. Um, so I did not play, unfortunately. It's a great game, wish I had. I, I think we have great potential, um, you know, but that doesn't win games alone. We have to put in the work and actually go out there and perform and out scrap and out compete guys. We don't have a lot of guys, but the guys we have are tough and for the most part experienced. So I think we should have a winning successful season say um, with the, the game moves so fast and subbing is done on the run just just understanding the intricacies of when to get on and get off the field um, you know certain aspects of positioning just just the, the, the fine details um, that are pretty tricky with the sport certainly hope to make states hopefully have a home game hopefully win a couple um, I think we definitely have have the ability to, to make a run with this group I've been playing lacrosse for four years. I play LSM and defense. The advice I would give to underclassmen would be to have fun and practice a lot. Biggest competition, I'm going to have to say North. 
the aspirations for my team this year is to get a home state playoff game. We're working really hard towards it, and that's something we can do really good this year because we have a solid group and we work hard every day. Best of luck to the boys of the season. I'm Alexia Genu from Tom's River Schools today. Thank you for watching. Let's now take a look at your three-day forecast. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 46. Moving to Sunday, the clouds stay around with a high of 58 and a low of 40. And finally, Monday, it will be cloudy with a high of 58 and a low of 41. And wrapping up tonight's show, a man and woman in South Carolina developed a very special relationship this year. It's not a love affair or a case of long-lost siblings reuniting. The bond they share it is itself the result of sharing. She gave him a kidney and he gave her undying friendship and gratitude. Erica Scrippa reports. Every day. <laughs> every, just about every day. Every day. You would think Frank Ancrum and Bianca Gadsden Powell have known each other for years. <laughs> but eight months ago, they were perfect strangers. I saw Mr. Frank and I noticed that he was a volunteer and we just started talking. Mr. Frank is 68. He served in Vietnam. These days, he volunteers his time at the Ralph H. Johnson VA Medical Center. Powell's a medical instrument technician, but it was a chance encounter in August of last year that gave Mr. Frank hope. She told me that she offered somebody else an organ, and I said, whoa. I asked her, I said, would it be all right if, if I have the organ? She said, yes. The promise of the new kidney sent Mr. Frank's spirit soaring. He says he needs it because of exposure to Agent Orange in Vietnam. But before the transplant could be done, two months of agonizing anticipation. Each time the telephone would ring, I would get nervous and nervous because I have four people that tried and weren't successful. On October 4th, 2017, they got the call that would intertwine these two former strangers for life. I told Mr. Frank that they had told me that we were a match. The first thing I said was, thank you, Jesus. An answer to his prayers. So I just want to thank you, thank you for Mr. being so <laughs> sweet and give me, for giving me the gift of life. Uh, thank you. And I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to take care of it until the day I leave this side. And an unexpected blessing for her. Not only is he a friend, but he's like more like a friend. Remember, if you have a story you'd like us to cover, or if you have an announcement about an upcoming event, please send it in your school mail to the TV studio at High School East, or you can email us at tv21 at trschools.com. Also be sure to tune into TV21 throughout the day to catch this show as we bring you stories from around the district. Also, please take a look at our website, www.trschools.com slash tv21. Well, that wraps up tonight's show for Tonsor Schools Today. I'm Kyle Austin. And I'm Angelina Gagliano. Have a great night.